Well, we obviously have to give Missouri credit. Um, when we get ourselves in that situation, I think it's happened three or four out of the five years um, when we're either close or have the lead. And, you know, when we took the lead, went right down the field and, and scored and I was trying to save enough time for us to have a chance to get back and score, but uh, that's happened to us and uh, certainly wish it wouldn't. Uh, we tr tried different things uh, on defense to try to preserve the lead when we went up, uh, but give Brady Cook, or excuse me, uh, yeah, Brady Cook and his his group, he, he did a fantastic job on that last drive. I didn't want to tell you that Landon Jackson is back in the locker room and and doing well. He's been released, so that was that was great news. And I'm disappointed we didn't beat Missouri. I'm disappointed for our kids. I'm disappointed for the fans. Um, not disappointed in the effort, but in the execution with the two turnovers that led to two scores, and they had zero. And uh, it's hard to beat a top twenty five team that way. Right down. Just a short field that you gave them. I mean, without those, you might have a you know a lead there in the third quarter. Well, I I felt like in the first half, uh, you know, the defense was playing so well that if we don't give them short fields, I don't, you know, I'm not for sure what they're going to do offensively, and uh, and and we did, and uh, so those are things you can't do, but we did and gave them a little bit of life and and. Uh, Certainly, they figured out uh, unbalanced formation, how to run the football better. Uh, they started running the football uh, better on us. We couldn't stop it. And then the quarterback draw obviously hurt us two or three times. The Q counter read hurt us as well. And, of course, the last one, the draw uh, to give to, for them to go up five and then the reverse pass on a touchdown to get up seven uh, were, were daggers. And you're able to overcome the turnover margin against the lead of Tech and all their respect them, they're not necessary. Yeah, they're not Missouri. It's been hard, you know, when you look at the close losses, but you know, so many of them, you know, AM, OSU, Missouri, even LSU was close until turnover. Yeah. Just how, how frustrating has that been? Very. I mean, it is. It's very frustrating. I mean, uh, we work ball security, you know, uh, every week and, and uh, put an emphasis on it. And that's, part of our ways that we keys to our ways we can win. And we, especially we knew today with uh, the weather, how it was, if, you know, whoever turns the ball over less is going to win. And that's kind of exactly what happened. Well, I was great to give Missouri that they were able to take Well, you do. I mean, you give them, you give them credit because, you know, they, they pulled the ball out. Um, and so you certainly give those guys credit. Uh, they've got a good football team and, and uh, you know, we didn't just give it to them. They, they took it from us. When did you decide that you'd work, work from the press box and what was the operation like? Operation I thought went really good. Um, I thought about it starting as early as Monday or Tuesday because I knew I was coming off some of my medication that I couldn't take for the surgery. Uh, but I, the decision was just what's best uh, for, you know, what I felt like was best for the team. So the bottom line is Bobby had the timeouts when he was, when offense is up and T will had them when he was on defense and, and Scott had them when we was on special teams. And I just told him, you know, and it, it seemed to work out uh, fine. Maybe I'll end it with uh, 35 runs, 35 pass, even split. Is that what y'all were wanting to do coming into this game? or kind of how, how do you like to... No, I think we felt like we could protect and we could throw it a little bit more than than uh, maybe a 50-50, maybe a 60-40. We thought that there were some open windows, uh, crossing routes, um, uh, shorter shorter balls across the middle that we could that we could uh, complete. And uh, – but – you know, the run of the game uh, went uh, pretty well, you know, and uh, so certainly uh, hindsight, uh, you wish we would run a little bit more. Sam, how difficult was that period where they had that eight-minute drive and then you fumbled on the first play and then four, it was 12 well, minutes? Well, 14-10. I mean, you know, it was very – because 
we had just, you know, we get it. We get the ball on the 50. We go right down and score. We take the lead 14 to 7. They got a long, lengthy drive. Uh, we hold them to a field goal. We get the ball back two plays or one play later. We give it back to them. And now an offense that had uh, some momentum and uh, going, a team that had some, some momentum, had to fight their way and scratch their way back. And I thought we did when we took the lead. And we did. We did when we took the 21-20 lead. And then uh, we just we couldn't stop them. Early on, y'all had several costly penalties. Just what, what do you think went into the you know the false start, jumping off sides, those, those penalties? Well, it's things that that can't happen. And and you know a lot of times you say, well, you know the the crowd's awful loud and they do the move. And we were on uh, you know clap cadence some. And we were on verbal cadence some. Um, but it's something that you know can't happen that did happen that 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 hurts you you know they had one down there on third and one on their own you know and and end up having to kick a field goal out of it but um uh, as long as that's a rule in college football we we have to and we practice it all the time but we have to uh stay in there on that flinching i think you guys saved your time out on the intentional grounding right before the fourth down completion yeah um was there a convenient time to use it later or because I think you finished with one? No, there wasn't. Um, I had it because I was trying to, I was, you know, I called timeout when Missouri had the football and was trying to use the two minute as well on that. I didn't want them to run a touchdown down the middle. You know, I was hoping that they might miss a field goal, you know. Uh, but no, really, as I look at that last drive, it just happened and there really wasn't a time because it was a first down and then, you know, so there really wasn't a time until it got down. And, and I even told Bobby there at the end, I say, look, I, there's six seconds left. I can use a timeout, you know, if you want me to, he said, no, 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 I got the play. I want. So uh, we were, we, yeah, you hate to, you hate to go home with one, but I, I really didn't feel like there was another time where I could use one. Sam, I would say how scary you see it, or how scary was that seeing the hand and how relieving is it that he's okay and how tough was it that he didn't have one of your best players for like three quarters of the Yeah, game? well, Landon's not only one of our better players, but he's, he's a great kid and a great leader for us and a great family. Uh, so, yes, it's, it's scary, and especially when I'm not able to be on the sideline, you know, seeing him. And, and uh, but I was getting information from T. Will and, and, uh, uh, but yeah, very, very, and, you know, obviously we'd love to have him out there for the other three quarters, but more importantly, he's healthy and, and we're, we're happy with that. So they came to the hospital, checked him out. They did. And then they brought him back. Yeah. I actually got a chance to see him when I came down from the press box, uh, the ambulance was out there, him and his wife and, and, uh, and I was able to see those guys. How tough was Andrew Armstrong? I mean, he knew we went down hard a couple of times and just kept coming back. He kind of shown that all year, hadn't he? I mean, he's really shown uh, maturity from a year ago, and um, he really shown his toughness. Uh, he was actually one of the guys this morning where we was talking about, hey, it's football weather, football weather. Fo you don't usually get that from a wide out. But, uh, um yeah, I, I thought he had a hell of a year and, and uh, certainly proud of him and his accomplishments that he had. But the thing that he, he showed is he's he's tough, just what he said. Any updates on Dubinian or Keon Stewart? Haven't. Uh, they just said R-Dub wasn't going to come back. And uh, Stu, I, I have not heard. Did the timing of the day with the weather change anything? How are you guys prepared today more so than a normal game day? Mm -hmm. No, I don't think so. I mean, we, we stayed on schedule and, and, uh, we knew we were going to get off the field a couple, two or three minutes early and from pregame. Um, but not, not really. I think, I think the weather, uh, surprised everybody, you know, including the field crew and all they get, end up getting it cleaned up and cleaned off, but no, really wasn't a whole lot of adjustment because, uh, you know, weather usually doesn't do that. It's it tough loss, as it says. You do have a bowl game to look forward to. You got your hopefully getting your hip fixed right to look forward yeah. to. Kind of, what, what are your thoughts on those two things coming up? Well, I wish we were seven and five or better, you know, going to the bowl game. I mean, I do. Um, and, um, but I'm excited that we're, we're going to get an invite somewhere.
uh, and have another opportunity to have a, you know, another winning season, winning bowl game. Um, and then what'd you ask for? Uh, you got your hip surgery Tuesday, sir. Yeah. I know, right, hip surgery, maybe what people dream about, but hopefully it'll relieve your pain and make you feel better. If anybody's had it for 150 days or whatever I've had, I wish it on nobody. It's, uh, I've had a knee replaced and uh, you can't, it's painful, you know, and, and been coaching 38 years and never not been on the sideline for a game. Uh, but I feel like I would have been more of a detriment to the team down there than I, than I would doing the same thing up up top and having a clear mind, not worried about uh, the pain. Yeah, you're just hoping, you know, looking forward to getting it done. And sure yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to getting it done. And, and uh, I, I believe most of my work, because it's dead next week, I believe most of my work I can get done uh, in the office and certainly uh, – we can't see the recruits anyway, so I'd be able to talk to them and FaceTime them and all that. You mentioned the ball security earlier, but just I think the broadcast mentioned y'all lead the country in fumbles. Just why do you think that has been like uh, the case? If I knew the answer, you know, we'd 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 try to fix it. But uh, the bottom line is we have to be carrying the ball loose. I mean, that's that's the bottom line because if you're not, you're not going to turn. You're going to turn it over some. There's just hits and all that, but you're not going to turn it over and and. Uh, have that kind of stat if you're not loose with the football and obviously that all falls on me and we've got to do a much better job of that would you be good with the staff coming back intact or do you anticipate any yeah i mean i got a good staff so i think they'll have there'll be guys that have opportunities to do something uh, i think they enjoy it here at arkansas and and uh yeah i'd like to i'd like to have have them come back but um we'll wait and see they went seven and zero at home for the first time. Yeah, I saw they've that. They've been six and zero, but they, they, they've been with seven to six and one. I guess how much do you respect that, and just how impressive is that? How tough a place? Well, is. they know how to win. You know, they they win all the close games. It seems like you know they have this year, and and it seems like it goes down to that last drive. And and uh, he's really really good at calling plays and the kids at executing it. Uh, we knew that even whenever we went up uh, by one. Uh, you know, I'm certainly nervous because uh, uh, they've executed that drive several times. What do you think opened up their stretch and the other run plays? In well, I think it was a little bit of formation too. You know, I think the formation they were, you know, they were unbalanced. And if we if we went too unbalanced, they they hit us weak. You know, they hit us uh, on the weak side, and we were in cloud coverage a couple of times where which means that we're not going to have immediate support. And uh, they got 10 or 12 off of the, the couple of runs on that, too. So we had to get out of that. Appreciate you, Coach. All right. Thanks, Thanks Coach. Amen.